some very uh, interesting uh, information was presented at the World Muscle Society meeting on use of the Avexis 101 uh, gene replacement therapy in older patients uh, with SMA type 2. So these are children from six months of age up to five years of age. Uh, and what's different from the babies uh, with type 1 SMA who are given a single intravenous dose, uh, which is weight-based, it's per kilogram, uh, this is different. This is a single intrathecal dose given by lumbar puncture, but it's a fixed dose. So it doesn't matter whether you're six months old or five years old, everyone gets the same dose. Uh, and there's a good rationale for that based upon spinal fluid volume and the such. Uh, and some early information on this uh, was presented at the World Muscle Society meeting today. Uh, and what we're seeing is that there seems to be a very good safety profile, uh, as you might expect. They're tolerating this, these lumbar punctures and the intrathecal delivery of the drug. Uh, and we are seeing some favorable responses in their motor function uh, as well. So I think part of the importance of this is, at least in the United States, uh, the initial approval of the Avexis 101 drug uh, was only up to age two years. It could be type one, type two, but only up to age two years. What this strong study is going to allow us to explore is both the safety and the efficacy of an intrathecal administration of the drug uh, to uh, children up to age five years. Now this study is still evolving. Uh, they've just recently added a third dosing level. So we've already completed the low dose and what we'll call the middle dose, and those were shown to be both safe and effective. But now the company is exploring whether yet a higher dose might provide even further benefit and also, of course, uh, a good safety profile. So that study probably has another year or two until we're able to come to some conclusions. But an interim analysis today really was uh, re quite favorable.